Here's another great Python and Arduino project that uses an ultrasonic sensor to detect the distance of objects. So I'll go ahead and go over the basics of how this works and explain how the ultrasonic sensor is working as well. Uh, so we have the ground going into the ground, the VCC going into the 5 volts. We have the trigger, which is the output going into pin 4, and oh, I'm sorry, pin 3, and the input, which is the echo going into pin 2. So let's go ahead and go over uh, how all this works and look at the sketch in the Python code. We'll start with our Arduino code. And the first thing I've done is just create four variables. The first variable is our trigger on pin three. And what the trigger is doing is, it, is it's sending a signal. So just like in sonar, the signal goes out, it bounces off the object, and it comes back. And from that, you can determine how far the object is. And uh, our, our trigger will be our output, obviously. And we'll declare that down here. So the trigger will be the output. And then the echo will be the input. And I put that under, on, on pin two. It doesn't matter which pin you, you put it on. It could be as long as the pin is unique. Uh, it could be four, five, six, doesn't matter. And so that, that echo pin is our input. And uh, the duration is going to be our variable that holds how long it took for the, the signal to leave and come back. And that's going to be measured in microseconds. And then we'll want to convert that to centimeters. And that's what this distance centimeters variable is for. So once we have that set up, uh, we go ahead and start the loop. The trigger starts low, then it goes high, then it goes low. And what the pulse in function is doing is it's, it's measuring how long it takes for it to go low uh, to, to go from high to low. Basically, how long it's taking for the signal to leave and come back. And uh, that's going to be measured in duration, uh, in uh, microseconds under duration. So if we were to print duration, we would get a large number and the number would change and it would be working. It would tell us that the object is 450,000 microseconds, you know, or 200,000 microseconds. But that's, you know, that's not easy to, to understand. So we, we convert that to centimeters and that's what I've done here. So once we have that, we print that out, and I delay it so that you know that the data is being fed to us every two seconds. So over to our Python code, I, I import serial, uh, hook up our Arduino, uh, hook it up to our serial, and then print the distance of the object as and read the line from the serial. That's going to give us a uh, a nice number, but it's going to have B in front of it along with. Uh, if it's with an R and an N at the end, so I just use strip and decode to remove those. So let's go ahead and upload this sketch, and it looks like it's working. I'll go ahead and put my hand in front of the sensor, take my hand back, bring my hand forward, take my hand back again, go back some more. All right, so that's working. And uh, what's cool about this project is it's great to teach students about embedded systems. I mean, they can take this system uh, package it, you know, print a 3D box for it, and then they have a standalone uh, embedded system. Also, if they uh, are, you know, are um, fluent in Python, they can create control statements that can do, you know, they can check and see how far an object is, and if it's this far away, do something. If not, do something else. You can hook up a GUI library to this, so you have a nice interface to control it and to get feedback on it. It's, you know, you can do some pretty cool things. So this is a great start to some potentially great projects.